Hello my friends, welcome to the second tutorial in the Budgeting with Power BI series. In this lesson we will learn to calculate the cumulative actual versus budget. In the previous lesson we discussed how we can create and allocate dynamically the budget and now we want to calculate besides the actual versus budget difference the cumulative sales and budget and difference. Let's quickly summarize how our model looks. So we have the sales table, the products, calendar, customers, okay, and the territory. Here is the new table that we create with the DAX formula. Our model have sales in these three years with 2019 with sales until July and we want to create dynamically a budget for 2019 and then dynamically allocate it and calculate the cumulative difference. We dynamically create the budget table, pressing new table and adding this formula. Okay, we budget it on a customer level and days level. Okay, so we use add columns and the cross join where we cross join the customer key and calendar date. Okay, on a date level. And then we call it 2019 budget and calculate total sales with the filter on 2018 and we want the budget of 2019 to be 15% over 2018. So we multiply it with 1.15. So this is our table that is created with this DAX formula and it looks like this. Okay, we have the date, the 2019 budget and the customer key. So now what we do, we create step by step this report in order to understand the figures. Okay, so we have the previous year sales. Okay, in the sales table, first we have the total sales. Okay, a simple sum of the extended amount here and previous year sales we have this formula okay calculate total sales with date add where we go one year before then we have the budget allocation first we create the measure budget 2019 is just the sum of the 2019 budget column that we see in the table and we want to allocate it dynamically depending on the timeline level if we have months here we want to have it allocated on each month if we put days here we will have it on day so the budget allocation is this DAX formula that I have explained to you in the previous video where we dynamically allocate depending on the number of days of the year that we have in the filter and the number of days in the context. As I told you, if the context here is month, the number of days would be the number of days in the month and so on. Okay, so we have this and we have this allocation. And now we just created this simple actual versus budget where it is the difference between total sales and the budget allocation 29 and now we want to calculate this year to date sales okay for this we will use a dex pattern that we find in the sql bi site dex patterns for cumulative totals so the formula is like this we year to date sales is calculate total sales and then we apply a filter filter all selected calendar this removes all the filters and keeps only the ones from the visuals for example we here have a slicer where we have 2019 selected okay so then what we do we use this calendar date less or equal with max calendar date. 
So this is the formula for the year to date total and we got the year to date sales. The same formula we apply for the budget, the same DAX pattern. Okay, calculate budget allocation 2019, this that we have allocated, and then we use the same pattern with filter all selected calendar and less or equal with max calendar date. Okay, so we see that we have them in the year to date fashion, and then we just calculate this year to date actual versus budget. If you want to practice more with this data model, I will put the link to the file in the description. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.